Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, we are going to develop a small program that can tell a user whether a particular year is a leap year or not. So this is just a very small program that is going to help us uh, recall some of the concepts that we have learned so far in this Java series. So as I said, this program must prompt the user to enter a particular year, for example, 2020. And then the program that we will develop must tell the user that 2020 is a leap year or not. Okay, so a leap year is a year that has 366 days in it because the month of February has 29 days instead of 28 days. Okay, so what we are going to do first is to declare an input object so I'm going to write static scanner console new scanner system that in then semicolon then here we are going to import a scanner like this and uh, after doing that I'm going to declare the variable that I'm going to call year this variable is actually going to hold the year that the user is going to input in our in the program. So after doing that, I'm simply going to write system that out that print line. So this uh, is going to print a message in the console, like to tell the user to type um, the year. So I'm going to simply write a string here that is going to say kindly enter the year okay something like this and then down here i'm going to say year and console next int because as you can recall the variable year is of type integer here so after doing that i'm going to now uh, write my if statement that is going to help me determine whether a particular year is a leap year or not so in the conditions uh, i'm going to write year modulus four equal equal zero so this expression is a boolean expression and it's going to determine whether a particular year is a leap year or not. So as you can see here, year modulus four equal equal zero must return through for the program to print out in the console this particular message. Now I'm gonna say year is a leap year. Okay, so why am I writing this condition here is because uh, normally a leap year comes after each four years for example the year 2020 is a leap year because as you could see the month of february had 29 days so after four years then we're gonna have another leap year okay because normally the month of february has 28 days but after each four years we have um a leap year so that means that the leap year must be uh when it's divided by four the remainder is equal to zero so that's why this um condition is going to return true for each leap year because each leap year is divisible by the number four okay so that means the health here so if the year that the user is going to enter is not divisible by four we're going to say that this that particular year is not a leap year all right so let's now run this and see what i was saying so let's say for example 2020 is a leap year and run so 2020 is a leap year you will see that if i write uh if i enter 20 21 and then here you can see that it is saying that 2021 is not a leap year okay but if i enter 2024 so 2024 is a leap year because from 2020 to 2024 we have four years uh, gap okay so as i was saying the leap year comes up after each four years so you will see that if I run, uh, I, I type in 2028, this is also going to be a leap year. But if I say 2027, for example, it is not a leap year, okay? So a leap year is uh, that year that is 
divisible by the number four. And as you can see here, so this is it concerning that small program that can allow you to determine whether a particular year is a leap year or not. So guys, I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.